morning everyone. Today is Monday, June 8th, 2020. It is S and T day of our ABC countdown. So go ahead and grab your favorite uh, pair of sunglasses and put on your favorite t-shirt. Um, I've got my favorite sunglasses from when I went to Puerto Rico last year. And I have my favorite t-shirt on. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a blending shirt. It says take, take time, take time to, take time to find, take time to find beauty, take time to find beauty in, take time to find beauty in the, take time to find beauty in the smallest, take time to find beauty in the smallest things. And then it goes right back down. Now that's my favorite t-shirt because it has a great message um, and I really, really love shirts that promote great messages. All right, so go ahead and grab your sunglasses, put on your favorite t-shirt, and then come back and join me. Before we get into writing today, I want to share two pieces of writing that friends wrote on Friday for the optional writing assignment. Their writing was filled with so much thought and reflection from their mind and from their heart. It was filled with so much love and so much hope. And it was just so amazing to read this work. So I'm going to share those two pieces on the screen, right? So you can see it as well. And then maybe you can talk about it with your peers, you can talk about it with your family, and then you, you too can still um, do this assignment as well if you are interested. One last thing before we move into writing, I just want to say how proud I am of each and every one of you um, having open, honest conversations last week uh, with each of your teachers, um, with your classmates, um, some of you bringing your families in. Um, we were just so glad to hear what's on your mind and what's on your heart and just have an open conversation about it. I know that we felt that these were some of the most powerful moments that we have felt as teachers. And we want to encourage you again that this is an ongoing conversation. So whenever you wish to, please reach out. We are here for you. For today's assignment, you're going to need one piece of paper and your pencil. Um, you can decide which plan is going to work best for you. We have our box and bullet. I know it's been a while. And we also have our web. All right. So right now, take this time. Pick which one is going to be best for you. I'm going to pick which one's best for me. And then come back and join me. All right. As we get closer to the end of the school year, we are actually going to make a memory book and we are going to start that today. There are going to be different parts of the memory book. And so today we are working on the planning page for the first part. Now remember, when it's a planning day, we are not doing the full on writing, all right? So I chose the plan that works best for me, which is a box and bullet. And I have my pencil ready to go. All right, now the first part of the memory book is going to be about the beginning of the school year, the first day of school. I want you to think back, you can close your eyes if you want to, and think, what were you feeling as you saw and heard Things that people were saying and doing, 
what were you feeling inside? All right? I want you to hold that for right now. Now we know that in a box and bullet, the topic sentence comes at the top. If you are using a web, you know that your topic sentence goes in the middle. So if I am writing about when I started first grade, what do you think my topic sentence is going to be? Yes, I, take those hands out, build it with me. I started first grade at Brook Charter Schools in Roslindale. Okay, you're telling your reader exactly what your page is going to be about. So every one sentence is going to be that. I started first grade at Brook Charter Schools in Roslindale. Once you've got that, write that down word for word. Again, remember stretching out those sounds or writing these words from memory. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Now remember, when you're making a plan, you don't need to write complete sentences. The only one that is going to be complete on this page is your topic sentence. And it's going to look like this. You can go ahead and pause the video so you can look at it. Now remember, I capitalized Brook Charter Schools, because that's a proper noun, because it's a specific place. Rosendale as well, because that's a specific place. All right, notice my letters that are tall, my letters that fall, and I'm writing nice and neat from the beginning all the way to the end. Want to make sure we're using our space, okay? Okay, now here is the fun part. So in your boxes, you are going to, to share what you felt and what you remember about starting first grade at Brook in Rosendale. Okay, so I'm gonna do mine. So the first thing I'm going to write, and again, remember, it does not have to be a complete sentence. It shouldn't be a sentence because you're jotting down ideas. When you make a plan, it's like a map that's going to guide your writing. Keep it organized so in the end, you can be proud of your writing. It's a great tool. All right, so the first thing I remember is that I was really excited now, I was really excited because this was actually Miss Andros's first year of having her very own class, not just at Brooke, but in general, all by myself. So I was very excited. So I'm gonna write excited. 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 And I'm going to put a comma and write a little note that it was because it was my first class ever. Go ahead and write your reason one. Reason one, silly Miss Andrews, or what you remember. All right, because for our memory book, um, we're sharing our memories. That means we're like traveling through time. We're looking back. 
All right, so this is how mine looks. Now for my second one, I'm gonna remember that even though I was excited, hmm, I was also nervous, right? I was nervous because I wasn't sure what to expect. This was my first time doing this before, so I didn't know what it was going to be like. Right, so I'm gonna write that down. All right, now the last thing I thought, I'm gonna put three. If you were using a web and you had four, all right, I want you to push yourself to think of um, an extra thing you remember feeling or experiencing. For those of you using the box and bullet like myself, we are on our third one, but if you would like to challenge yourself, you can still write a fourth one as well. You would just draw another box underneath it. Okay, as I think back, my third one, I'm going to pull up my fingers and build them up. I remember feeling loved, right? My friend Miss Chrisman sent me a message wishing me good luck. Miss G came by my room and gave me a smile, all right? My, my team and I had a, had a nice team talk, so I felt really loved. Right, so loved. Hmm. Okay, write that down. Draw a little note. Got to add teaching at the top because I didn't start first grade, I started teaching first grade. All right, once you finish writing that, it should look like this. I wrote how I felt with a little note next to why, and that's because this is going to help me when we start writing tomorrow. All right, that is all we are doing for today, friends. Take a picture of your paper and upload it onto Seesaw. Until tomorrow.